Hello, this is my Black British Woman's Voice. This is an impromptu vlog because I essentially want to get rid of one of the bees in my bonnet. And this particular bee is called narcissism. I am sick to death of, okay, I'm not going to use the word sick to death. I'm going to use something that has a more palatable flavor. I am wary. See, that's the kind of version of me saying I'm sick to death. But I am actually wary because there is some sympathy, but at the same time, that sympathy is being worn thin. I am wary of people who wax lyrical about their ex-partner being narcissists. Why? Because invariably you'll find out that this narcissist was someone that they were in a relationship with for 10, 15 years. Your partner, who you are no longer with, is not suddenly and miraculously a narcissist. There are someone, they, they are a person you have now fallen out with and you've gone back for your memory banks and uh, found out that actually this person was no good and now you're apart. Okay, if you want to know what a narcissist is, well, I've done a really good vlog um, about um, one of the characters from Black Panther on the fact that actually he's not a narcissist, he's a sociopath. See, even I'm going left, right and centre. But essentially I'm digressing, which always happens when I'm not facing the camera, but rather I'm speaking into my phone. You'll hear a person talk about their ex being a narcissist, right? Oh, my narcissist ex, my narc ex. And this person had three babies with her or him and were married for 10 years. Honey, if you were with a narcissist or a psychopath or a sociopath, it wouldn't have taken you 10 years to figure that out. You probably would have figured that out a long time. You would have given it a label and you would have left that relationship. All right, sorry, I know. Actually, that's too, that's too flippant of me and I don't mean to be flippant, but what I mean is, there's no point labelling them these descriptions which describe the dark triad because narcissism, psychopathy, so, uh, sociopathy all come under an umbrella term called the dark triad, which are three main characteristics that put together make the ultimate dark psychopathy, okay? There's, there's, there's no point giving your ex those labels. You had babies with them. You came home to her. You got married to him. You've just fallen out. You've had a sticky divorce, you've broken up, it's all those things. But I do not want to hear that your ex is a narcissist when you were together with them for years, nigh on decades. Again, also going back to the fact that narcissist has a different meaning to sociopath and psychopath. Narcissist actually is distinctive in that they have low self-esteem, which they compensate with dark triad personalities. So stop banding that word around. It's, it's boring. Find another word to describe the fact that someone you had babies with and lived with and shared the bills with and were married to or with for a decade is no longer in your life. Find another word to describe that person that you were with that you've broken up with. Find another word because it's not narcissist. This is one black British woman's voice and I'm out. Baby, come try again. You said, baby.